All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another incompetent unboxing. This time we have Little Drag... Actually, you know what? This isn't a proper unboxing if I can't really surprise you guys with this and if I don't have a box to smash. So luckily, I do have this random Amazon box just still kicking around here. So we're going to do this right. It's not an incompetent unboxing if I can't tear the shit out of a box. So let's go. And there it is, Little Dragon's Cafe, special edition on PlayStation 4. Now, of course, the first thing we want to do is remove the plastic and get rid of all that glare that's going to obfuscate your vision. All right, we already got a little tear in it here. Perfect. So, there it is. I gotta say, I do like the art on the front here. It kind of looks like it was just colored with color pencil or crayon or something but that's the art style of the game and I, I gotta say I, I do rather enjoy it now on the side here you can kind of already get a little peek of what's inside on the back a ps4 game collector's box the music of little dragons cafe cd soundtrack set of 18 3 by 5 collectible cards and an exclusive 9 inch baby dragon plush that's kind of the big pack in here so we got, you know, the basic basic screenshots from the game. Welcome to Little Dragon Cafe. Nothing exciting on the outside of the box, like, anywhere. Actually, that's kind of... Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty weak. That's, that's kind of already coming out a little damaged. That's disappointing, but, uh, whatever. Alright, so you can see what's already in there, but we're gonna start with the basics. So, start with the game first. Little Dragon's Cafe, rated E for everyone. Nothing exciting or particularly interesting. Welcome to Little Dragon's Cafe. Welcome to a camera out of focus. This wouldn't be incompetent unboxing if there wasn't a focus issues. Now, it looks like the back of this case is the exact same thing that's on the back of the box. So, I mean, there's there's nothing new to look at there. Aside from, you know, like this logo here. This one here says, uh, download the app, Little Dragon's Cafe on the App Store or Google Play. That seems to be the only difference on the back of these boxes. But let's open this up and see if we got anything interesting inside. Voila! Oh, hey, we actually have a friggin' manual. And what do we have here? We have some form of reversible cover art. So, Little Dragon Cafe. I might like that cover more. Honestly, they're both pretty good. I'm gonna leave it just where it is. But the reversible cover art is actually very nice. Let's get a good look at the disc here. So there you go, Little Dragon's Cafe, and a little little picture of your little dragon. The manual, is this a real manual? Full color, very nice. You don't get this sort of thing very much anymore, and I'm always pleased to see it. This isn't really unusual for Axies games, I guess. They, they do this more often than other companies do. Very nice, it's, it's nice to get a manual. I will actually look through that legitimately at some point. But let's move on to the soundtrack, the music of Little Dragon's Cafe. Again, another nice piece of art on it. This doesn't come in a jewel case, this is just, you know, cardboard. We got 17 tracks here. Music composed by Masanori Otsuka. I don't actually know who that is. And Yuichi Baba, okay, I actually do know that name. Cool, let's, uh, let's open this up, get a good look at the disc. I'm gonna destroy this damn thing just trying to get this plastic off. There's no good way to go about this. This is f***ing- this is sealed so tight, come on. Like, if you're not bothering with a jewel case, don't even bother putting f***ing plastic wrap over this shit. Just getting it off, I feel like I'm gonna destroy this little paper sleeve that they got. Well, it's technically cardboard, it's, it's thicker than paper, but still. It's still very- it's a very thin case. 
That was remarkably difficult for me. See how thin that is? Whatever, let's let's look at the disc. So it's it's just more artwork in line with the rest. It's more really nice, cute looking stuff. Can't say I have any sort of problem with it. But let's pop this in a CD player and see what it sounds like. Yeah. Motherfucker. What's up, nigga? Gangsta rap, nigga. Okay, uh, I can't say that that was particularly what I was expecting it to be. But seriously, guys, the music for this game is playing in the background of this video, if you're actually curious. All right, so next up in our little box of goodies, we have um, an unpainted 3D model of Kana Kamui. That doesn't belong in there. Ah, uh, looks like these are the cards they said on the back of the box. 18 of them. Uh, three by five. Let's take a quick look at these, even though they're wrapped as tightly as the f***ing CD was. Okay, so they seem to be cards of all the characters. And on the backs of them, they have character descriptions. These character character artworks aren't so bad. Pretty good. So, yep, yeah, there's the, uh, the descriptions on back. Overall, pretty high quality. This, this paper, I'd argue, is uh, more sturdy than the CD case. The CD case is kind of disappointing. And that leaves one more thing. The Dragon Plush. Let's, let's tear it open and get a better look. Not too shabby. Like, if... I, I obviously haven't played the game, but... If, uh, if you play the game and you end up liking it, this is... Honestly, an awesome thing to just have on the shelf. It would go along really well with all of our random Pokemon and, and Yoshi plushes and stuff. The only other plush is, like, that I really got with the game. I got Pinkoon with Akiba's Beat, and that thing was, like, tiny and cheap. And, um... I got... I got that Mr. Happiness with Galgun too, and while that plush was good, in and of itself, it wasn't like a, a complicated thing to build, not like this dragon is. But yeah, that that is gonna do it for the Little Dragon Cafe Collector's Edition, ladies and gentlemen. Um, overall, not a bad set in Canada. This was $99 uh, before tax, which is $20 more than the standard price of a regular full retail game. So overall, even considering the price, that's that's really not so bad. I'm, I'm rather impressed with this, even with the cheap CD case uh, and the um, the cheap, cheap box here that is already a little bit damaged. But yeah, pretty good stuff. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you liked it all, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Links to socials are in the description. And as always, folks, Thanks for watching. Once again, folks, thanks for watching. I did unbox this game, but I'm probably not going to review it. September is going to be a strange month anyway, but if you want to see a review, I highly recommend checking out Isha Gaming. She will get around to it eventually, and she loves games like this, so I'm sure she'll do a great job.